right, so let's get into rounding here. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at rounding to the nearest tenth. So if you have a number that includes a decimal point, or if you're looking to the right of the decimal point, here's the decimal point. One place to the right of the decimal point, that's known as the tenths. Okay? And two places to the right is known as the hundredths. So I'm emphasizing the th. That's how you know you're to the right of the decimal point. So if you're rounding to the nearest tenth, you really want to make sure that you're looking Sorry, my eyeballs here. You are looking to the nearest hundredth. So that's really, really important. You always want to look one more decimal place to the right. So again, if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we want to look at the hundredths. So here's a bunch of examples where we're going to round up. Okay? If Again, if someone asks you to round to the tenths, you're going to look at the hundredths. That's two to the right of the decimal place. If that number, two to the right of the decimal place, is five or bigger, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to bump the tenths place up by one. You're going to add one to it. This is known as rounding up. So examples, let's say I have 4.17, and someone asks us to round again to the nearest tenth. Okay, they want me to round to the nearest tenth, so I'm going to look at the hundredths. Is that five or bigger? Yes, it is. Um, so we'll, we'll bump up the tenths place, and we'll call it 4.2. Okay, since the hundredths place was five or bigger, we'll add one to the tenths place. Our final answer to the nearest tenth is 4.2. Okay, let's say I have, um, let's say we have like 5.35, okay? Someone asked us to round to the nearest tenth, so now we look one more to the right. Is that five or greater? Yes, it is. So we're going to bump up that tenth. Instead of three, we're going to add one to it. Three plus one, our final answer is 5.4. So we bumped up that tenth place. We rounded to the nearest tenth. By looking at the hundredths, it was five or greater. We bumped it up. Let's do one more. Um, uh, let's go 10.98. Okay, so someone asks us around to the nearest tenth. We look one more to the right. We say, is that five or greater? Yes, it is. Since it is, we're going to have to add one more to the tenth. So if you think about that, it's sort of like if you had... Um, nine tenths. If you make ten tenths, that's a whole nother one. So this nine is going to actually get bumped up to ten, which will be a zero in the tens place, and then we'll make an entire new one. So we're actually so close to eleven with ten point nine eight that we round up to eleven. So you could think of it as the tenths place went up by one, but since it made a full ten, ten tenths, that actually adds another one to the ones place. So think of it as like this, like $10.98 is very, very close to $11 to the nearest tenth. But you really want to make sure that it's 11.0, that you show that you're understanding that you're going to the uh, tenths place. Okay. Now if we're rounding down, uh, here's a couple of examples. Let's say we have 2.31. Or when I say rounding down, I'm just going to call it uh, not rounding up. That's really what it is. If you're not rounding up, you're just keeping things as is. Someone asks you to go to the nearest tenth place. You say, well, I'll look at the hundredths. Is that five or greater? Is it zero, one, two, three, or four? If it's zero, one, two, three, or four, we're just going to keep this. We'll say that's about equal to 2.3 because the hundredths place, that's two to the right of decimal place, was not five or greater. We're just going to kind of keep the beginning part. Again, we're stopping at the tenth. Let's try another one. Uh, 2.94. Well, we look at, we want to round to the nearest tenth if someone asks us to do that. We look at the hundredths place. Is that five or greater? No, it's not. So we're just going to keep what we have. 2.9. 2.94 rounded to the nearest tenth is 2.9. Uh, let's see here. Let's say I have um, 
135.73. Someone asked us to round this to the nearest tenth. So we look at, we're, we're rounding to the nearest tenth. We look one to the right. Is that five or bigger? No, it's not. So we'll just keep what we have. It's approximately equal to 435 and 7 tenths, or 435.7. So if you're not rounding up, you're just going to keep things as is. If you are rounding up, because one to the right of the decimal um, in question, decimal place in question, you're going to add one to um, where you're asked to round to. Again, these are all examples of rounding to the nearest tenth. So let's do a little mixed practice. Okay, someone asked to round this to the nearest tenth. So we look one to the right. Is that five or bigger? Well, no, zero, zero, one, two, three, or four. We just keep things as is. We do not round up. So we're just going to keep this. This is approximately equal to 41.6. Say I have um, um, let's say I have 213.77 and I'm asked to round to the nearest tenth. I look one to the right. Is that is that seven or bigger? Yes, it's sort of like all of our other rounding up examples. Is that seven or bigger? Yes, it is. So We'll keep the 213, but we'll bump the tenth up by one. We'll add one to it. That'll be 213.8. So here's an example of not having a roundup, as in you just keep what you have. Here is an example. Round into the nearest tenth. You look one to the right. It's five or greater. So you're actually going to round that tenth up. You're going to kick it up by one. You'll add one to it. You'll be at 213.8.